How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Qualcomm. So I'm out here in San Francisco for Qualcomm's AI Day. And they've just announced three new mobile platforms. So we have the Snapdragon 730, the 730G and the 665 as well. Now the aim of these three new processor chips is to bring experiences in artificial intelligence, gaming, camera or photography and performances, those exceptional things to a broader spectrum of mobile phones, smartphones coming out later on in the year and throughout the year. But without further ado, let's just dive in deeper and see whether each individual processor chip will offer smartphones that are powered by them. The aim of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 6 and 7 lines has been to expand premium features to less expensive handsets. So if you can't afford to shell out big money for a new phone with the 845 or 855 processors, you'll still have access to a powerful camera, advanced AI capabilities, immersive and lag-free gaming experiences, and processing power that's really powerful for everyday use. The Snapdragon 7 series of power devices that could be considered premium light, while the Snapdragon 6 series is aimed at mid-range devices, so brands like Xiaomi, Vivo and Oppo will take advantage of them, which we might see later on in the year or even throughout the year. The Snapdragon 730 features advanced artificial intelligence processing on the 730 that's twice as powerful as the Chief's predecessor. Its multi-core AI engine speeds up on device smarts for cameras, gaming, voice and security. The Snapdragon 730 also features Qualcomm's Spectra 350 with a dedicated computer vision image signal processor that makes a phone up to four times more power efficient in computer vision. That will let you capture 4K HDR videos in portrait mode. The computer vision ISP is capable of high resolution depth sensing and can support triple cameras for ultra wide portrait and telephoto lenses. It also captures photos and videos in the HEIF format that's half the size of JPEGs, letting you store more photos in less space. The Snapdragon 730G on the other hand is aimed at gamers. It has up to 15% faster graphics rendering over the Snapdragon 730 and Qualcomm's in-house game studio has worked with game makers to optimize the processor for some of the world's most popular titles. The 730G has Jank Reduce feature to reduce stutters by up to 90% in games running at 30 frames per second, and it's also got anti-cheating extensions. It also features technology to help deal with Wi-Fi latency and supports HDR gaming. The Snapdragon 665 supports Qualcomm's third generation AI engine, which provides up to twice as fast on-device processing compared to the older Snapdragon 660. The Spectra 165 image signal processor on the chip will let the phone's camera automatically recognize what scene setting is needed and make automatic adjustments like turning on HDR or whatever it needs to make sure you capture the best image possible. Some other camera features supported in the chip include the ability to snap photos at up to 48 megapixels as well as optical zoom and triple cameras for ultra wide, wide and telephoto. The Snapdragon 665, like the Snapdragon 730, will also make features like 3D face unlocking possible as well. So as you can imagine, smartphones that are cheaper running the 665 processor will be able to have all these fantastic and amazing features for less than the price of something that you'd get in say the 855, so for devices like Samsung Galaxy X10 Plus. And as mentioned before, it also means you won't have to spend so much money to gain and experience all these amazing features. So that's it guys, do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. Uh, all information that you require will be in the description area. But in the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a new video on this channel. Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next one.